Hey guys. <laughs> You've got a front door right here. This bathroom has its own chair and table. Did you just set off the fire alarm? <laughs> Hello beautiful people, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video and vlog. Today is day one of the moving back to university vlog. I'm going back to my university. I'm so excited. The boot is currently being filled up now. Not everything is going up today. So we are currently at the beginning of July. I'm not actually fully moving up to university until the end of September. I need to go sign my contract. I need to get my house keys from my landlord, which I'm so excited about. I'm so excited to just have a house in university. It's just gonna be so exciting. I wanted to get a head start, start moving things up so that it wasn't like a bulk load when I go up in September, but obviously I'll do another vlog then. Fingers crossed the room is nice. I hope you guys enjoy this little university vlog. I can't wait to start making more university content for you guys. Let's get moving to Norwich. <laughs> So we have made it to my uni room. So this is my empty uni room. It's crazy to think that I'm now officially moved in. I'm now a tenant. I can't wait to start bringing in all of my things. Look how gorgeous this big bay window is. It is on a main road, but you can barely hear anything. As you can tell by this quality audio, there's so much light, it's brilliant. Strange, because you've got a front door right here, but obviously this isn't used as a front door. This is fully blocked off, obviously, to have this as a bedroom. Here's me in the mirror. Loads and loads and loads of storage. This is such a cute room and it's so big and airy. There's so much floor space. I'm like, do 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 Got one mirror here and one mirror here. However, I'm Jamie Dare. And so I'm hoping to put one of those standing, freestanding mirrors here that I saw in an Ikea vlog. I can also take this print out and put my own print, which is good. Also, I've got one three drawers here for storage, another three drawers under my bed. She provided me two mattress protectors for my double bed, which is so exciting. I have a single bed at home, so I'm very, very excited to actually have a double bed, finally, just because I really like a double bed. I feel like I've got lots more space. Oh, I'm so excited. I love Norwich, like it's my place to be. It's such a liberal, fun city. But yeah, look how funny this mirror is. So this is like my cool wardrobe, which is very vintage, but look at this random mirror at the top. Hey guys. <laughs> Imagine like being this tall and taking mirror selfies, like wow. So this is my kind of vintage shuttered wardrobe, which is so, so cool. I really like this room because it's got a lot of kind of like vintage retro details. I love this. It's literally a little cubby hole with this cute little wallpaper in the back. No idea what I'm gonna store in here, but that's the fun and excitement of it. I've got another cupboard down here. And of course, because I'm an English Lit student, a big desk is key. And it's great as well that I'm right by the Wi-Fi route because it means good signal finally. But yeah, that is a room tour. Oh, actually, I also have this extra space. So this is where I'm gonna put my dressing gown. But I've got this additional space. Oh my God, that's a heavy door, which has got all the like electric router and stuff in. But I think there's a light that you can turn on. Here you go. You can hang things up there. You can store like your suitcase and shoes on the floor. It's just another extra space. Here's the entirety of my empty university third year room. So this is where I'm gonna be staying for the next year in Norwich whilst I finish my degree. I just feel so ready. I feel ready. I can't wait to move my bits in. I'm gonna to go to the car now. I'm gonna grab all my bits and we're gonna start moving the few bits in that we've got. I'm gonna show you around the rest of the house because the rest of the house is huge. Considering we're quite close to the city, I'd have thought that all of the houses were quite narrow and small, like trying to pack everyone in as close to the city as possible, just like other big cities like London. But this house is humongous. The amount I'm paying is 360 pounds a month. So a very good price for this entire space. Hi guys, and welcome to my crib. Yeah, I do really like it. It takes about an hour and 45 minutes to drive here. At least you have a double bed. A nice double bed. Today. Here's my little makeshift bookshelf with all my favourite literary books. Look how gorgeous this book is. I just bought it in a charity shop for 50p. It's gorgeous. And this one, The Great Gatsby, my favourite ever novel of all time. And I just love Sorry, the colour. We're not here for the weekend. What? <laughs> Did you want that one there and then that there? No, I think it works. Yeah, I could make that into a collage wall. Uh, yeah, I can buy some of those Tesco things which like stick onto the wall but don't peel away the paint and then do like more photos around it maybe. Well, she said she's quite happy for you to put... Little pins. All your Tupperware stuff at the top, all your pots and pears at the bottom. If you give me 
need the cutlery. You've got to take it all in anyway, haven't you? Yeah, I'll put two of each in. But I don't need all four of everything in. Of course you don't. So I'll put those back in my bedroom. No idea where I'm going to put the toaster. Okay, so I have moved in the things that I've brought up. I'm going to give you guys a little house tour. Currently standing in our conservatory, which is quite cute. Never actually had a conservatory before. And then you come through this door. It's a conservatory in my eyes. It's not a conservatory it's where you sit, you bask in the sunshine, you just lean to. Yeah, but if I put chairs out there, that could turn into a mini conservatory. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Well, it's a student conservatory then, a DIY conservatory. You have the kitchen here's my dad washing up here is my cupboard which is gonna have all of my food at the moment I've just got a squirty tub of maple syrup and then in this cupboard it has got all of my pots and pans and mugs up here as well I've got all of my cutlery I love the fact that it's got an actual hob and an electric oven because in my last uni house I did not have this luxury so yeah this is the kitchen with the big fridge freezer so then you come through and you've got the living room which has got the TV and then this here is my bedroom so I'm on the ground floor and then this is the bedroom all done up as much as I can at the moment. So here's Mickey just chilling on my bed with my fitted sheet, which I'm gonna put on obviously when I move up here. Got my little alarm clock there. I'm obsessed with this duck egg color, by the way. Here is my little light switch with my copper light as well, which is yet to be plugged in. I've got these three cute little pictures up here. I am going to be hanging another print here. So I'm gonna get rid of this one and then put probably like a collage of images there above my bed and I'm going to have my string of lights. I've got all of my storage there and then I've got this cute little section which is just my favourite. Cute little vintage Mickey Mouse pencil case. My little at Jamie Dare X. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already. And then I've got this huge desk which will obviously be filled with my Mac and things like that but for the moment it's just got this kind of like paper drawer, my pencil pot, my stapler pencil case and this little kind of filing cabinet. I've then got this like <laughs> DIY aesthetic coffee table vibe. It's got these cute minimal black and white books, which is just kind of cute together. I love how one's a magazine and one's kind of like a fancy book with my not real fake plants. And then I've just got this four stack of shelves. Did you just set off the fire alarm? <laughs> they just set off the fire alarm while I was vlogging. And then I've just got my laundry basket here. So then you come up the stairs and then you've got a bedroom on the left. You have a nice little storage cupboard in here with the hoover and the ironing board. But everyone knows that a student never irons. <laughs> or at least me, I'm really trying to find like a good steamer. I feel like that will be the easiest way to like keep all of my clothes looking neat and tidy. In there is another bedroom. In here is an airing cupboard. Oh, that's a heavy door. So yeah, I can put all of my like duvet bits and towels. So that's just kind of tucked away in there. And then here is the bathroom, which is humongous. Like I'm kind of obsessed. It's even got its own little chair and table. This bathroom has its own chair and table. Love this mirror. When I'm running a bath, I can kind of like sit here and just live my best life. Another mirror, I love mirrors. I've got three in my bedroom at the moment and I want another big one. It's a bath shower, electric shower, which is really, really nice. And then when you come up here, you've got the attic bedroom. That is the house tour. So it's a four bed house, which is really, really close to the city center. My little pre uni <laughs> Oh my God, mother. We got our sausage and chips. Yay! Where's Daddy's sausage? Is it? Do you want to try curry sauce, boys? Yes, please. That is proper curry sauce. Mmm, yeah. that mm. is so good. Should have got some, shouldn't you? Can't beat a batter sausage and chips. So we've just got home. I have officially moved in, partly moved into my university room. I had a lovely fish and chip dinner. The drive home was very, very long, much longer than it was there, or at least it felt it. I hope you guys enjoyed the little house room tour. Of course, I'll be doing more vlogs and room tours and uni tours once everything is up there, like all of my clothes, all of my photo frames, and once everything is done, even my kind of sparkling lights. I don't know if you can see those in the background, but even those are going up and being stuck onto the walls. I wanted to film this kind of pre-move-in vlog to get you guys excited for the next year at university. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button and of course subscribe down below for more content and I will see you in next week's video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.